Hello Stampers! I'm Kelly Atchison at estampabove.com coming to you live from Menasha, Wisconsin. Well, I hope you guys had a fantastic Thanksgiving. Oh my goodness, nothing like a holiday, right? I love a holiday too because it gives me a little bit of time off and I am almost always spending it with my family. So that's really fun too. I'm getting a set up here on my iPad. I can see all your comments coming in. I didn't have any problems today. Oh, and then I just shut it off. <laughs> like, why? Okay, here it is. <laughs> I was being a, you know, I was putting my horse before the cart. Is that how they say it? I shouldn't have said anything because, yeah. Let me get all my cords untangled here. Get my cell phone plugged in. Yay, I think we're good to go. I hope you guys had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Um, we certainly did. Uh, I went up north. Let's see, today is November 28th, and I went up to my mom's house on Thursday the 18th, and I didn't come home until Saturday. What? I know, right? I got a lot of sleep until little Miss Val arrived, and then there's not much sleeping goes on. Um, I did take her up with me Thursday and kept her overnight until Friday when her mom and dad showed up. And the whole family went hunting. If you guys follow me on Facebook and my private page, uh, my personal, I should say my personal profile, you saw that my mother, who is 76 years old, got a buck. It was so exciting. So, my mom and I both um, hunted together in her palace, which is like this fabulous stand that um, all the boys built for her. And um, it's really nice and warm in there. We have this great big heater and we have windows that slide open and it's really quite spectacular. Um, office chairs, just like this one. We sit in two nice office chairs. <laughs> it's really great. Steve got the window replaced because it fell out last year. <laughs> Um, so that was nice. And uh, yeah, my mom was super excited because she um, got a deer and it was running and she made a very clean shot. And um, yeah, it was pretty exciting. And I missed it. <laughs> so we were both shooting at the same deer and my mom hit it and I did not. <laughs> I got nothing. Nothing. <laughs> we didn't have that good of a season. Um, yeah, I think my sister got one and Haley missed a buck and it happens, right? There's a lot of room around them. But yeah, so for those of you who are not into hunting, I appreciate your um, not leaving me nasty comments <laughs> because I've had a few and I really contemplated sharing the picture of my mom with her buck because I know not everybody's into hunting and I completely respect that. But um, I did have a few nasty comments and like, why? Why? I'm so proud of my mom. She's 76 years old and she is still hunting. And I just think that's awesome. And I have respect for everybody's opinion and the things they do and the things they don't do. And, and it's nice if people can also have respect for the things that I do or don't do or whatever, right? So anyways, I'll just keep going. That person, by the way, doesn't have to worry about seeing anything from me again. Because <laughs> I blocked them. Yeah, I'm kind of snarky that way. Anywho, yay. Thank you, Deb. Deb says, congratulations on mom getting a deer. Thank you very much. I was so proud of her. And she was like quite surprised. <laughs> She's like, oh, I got it. <laughs> yeah, so... um. What else? It was funny, too, because my husband just came up into the stand. He was sitting there yak, 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 hitting at us. And all of a sudden, we saw a little deer run by us. And we're like, oh, there's a little deer. And then Steve goes, uh, there's a buck. Boom! Me and my mom both. My mom flew that window open. <laughs> flew that window open. Slid that window open. I ran right out that front door, and we're both. Yeah, and my mom won. It's okay. <laughs> Yeah, somebody just said, who said that? Debbie said something about um, people tearing people down. And I agree. I just, I don't understand 
I think those people, yes, people have nothing better to do than tear others down. And I completely agree with you, Debbie. Like I said, I completely get it. If people don't hunt or are against hunting or whatever, that's fine. But um, when I post something on my own page, you have all the power to follow or not to follow. And you also have all the power to comment or not comment. And negativity, I have no place for it. So <laughs> you guys are my people, right? <laughs> exactly. Um, anyway, so I was super excited about my mom. I hope you guys enjoyed your um, Thanksgiving meal. I have to tell you, my mom made the green bean casserole from scratch. And when I say from scratch, I mean like scratch. My mom makes her own white sauce. She doesn't use the Campbell's cream of mushroom soup, which there's nothing wrong with that. But can I just say, sauteing your own mushrooms in butter and then making your own white sauce. Oh my good Lord. It is got to be my favorite part of the meal. And then... Because I mentioned that um, my favorite dessert is creme brulee. She made it and it was so delicious. So not only did we have a fantastic Thanksgiving meal, but we also had creme brulee, which is my favorite. Yeah. So then the next day we had fresh venison and pancakes and she made fresh venison and waffles and ooh, just love it. All of it. Um, so what else happened over the last week? Because I was not here last weekend, right? Um, so Thursday morning, Thanksgiving morning, um, Haley ha had Val and we sleep in our camper, my summer home. And um, is there a recipe secret Kay wants to know? There's no secret Kay. You just saute mushrooms in butter and you make a white sauce, like a roux, and then make your white sauce. And I believe that you'll find that in any recipe book. And then, of course, the only thing that's not homemade, she doesn't grow her own green beans, because, like, that's a lot. <laughs> um, but you put in your French-style French, French style green beans, and the onions are for the turkey canned onions. That's the only thing that's not, like, she doesn't make that. But, oh. So delicious. So anyways, back to Thursday morning. Um, Haley and Val get up before I do, of course, because like I like to sleep in. So I heard Haley and Val head out the camper door and I heard a calamity. And then I heard Haley, mom, I flew out of that camper. Like I whipped my blankets off and I like leaped out of the camper. Haley said, I was like a gazelle coming out of that camper. Turns out we had glare ice. Um, everything was coated in a sheet of ice. And Haley, when she opened up the door, it was super windy and the wind caught the door and flung it open and she went to grab it and she was holding the baby and she fell. She fell out of the camper onto the ground. And when she did that, she landed with her butt on the metal stairs and she tore what we believe she tore her ACL. Good grief, right? Like, ugh. So an ACL tear is very serious. And it's the same knee she tore her ACL playing soccer um, 10 years ago. And uh, I went running outside. She's holding the baby. And I grabbed the baby and I'm trying to help Haley up. And you know, she's six months pregnant and she can't move because her knee is killing her and it's all slippery. And um, I grabbed the baby and she's like, take, take Val inside, take Val inside. So I took Val inside. I set her on the, on my bed, right inside the door and went outside and helped Haley to get her back into the camper because it's fiercely windy and cold out and she's laying on ice and um, yeah, so it took her a while to kind of get herself together and everything's fine with the new baby that's still in the belly. She didn't hurt herself that way, but um, her butt is just purple, black and blue. And we went to the Orthopedic Sports Institute and I drove her back to Appleton, which is two hours. We went there, they took x-rays 
And of course, they nothing's broken, but they can't tell anything from an x-ray. You need an MRI to know if you have a torn ACL. And um, they can't do an MRI because she's pregnant, right? So, like, seriously, as if this girl hasn't had a hard enough time lately. So she's, she's due in March. Everybody's saying, when is the baby due? The baby's due March 8th. And she has a baby that she carries around. You know, Val is 19 months old and she's getting pretty heavy. And Haley has an upstairs apartment. You go into their garage and you open a door and you have to go all the way up the stairs to get to their apartment. So, and now she, she has a huge brace on her leg and she's on crutches and oh, <laughs> I just, I feel so bad for her because, you know, it's already tricky enough being pregnant and carrying a baby around all the time. And yeah, now she's got a wrecked knee. So lots of prayers. We're looking for lots of prayers and we're hoping maybe it isn't as serious as a torn ACL, but the orthopedic doctor said that, you know, they take it and they kind of go like this. And he said it feels pretty loose. And that's how it feels when you blow your ACL is it feels pretty loose. So anyways, yeah. Yeah. So bad news on that front. Um, but she's tough. She's a tough girl. And, she, you know, she said, oh, my gosh, how did this happen? I'm not clumsy. I'm like, you don't have to be clumsy to fall on glare ice. Like there, you couldn't do anything about that. She's like, I never fall down. I'm never clumsy like that. And I'm like, you know, and I said, just one moment in time, just that one moment in time and everything can change, right? And then I reminded her that it could be much worse. And we agreed. And, you know, we have to be thankful that it wasn't much worse. Hi, Ruth Miller. <laughs> um, so anyways, yeah, we're hoping that it's not a torn ACL, but I'm pretty sure it is. And yeah, it's not cool with an unstable knee. Right now, it's just very painful. But once it starts, the pain starts to subside, then your knee is just wobbly. It's unstable. And um, that's not cool, especially being pregnant, right? Anywho. So, um, and then Val, Val got sick. She got sick Friday night. Um, she was running a fever and she was like... T -t 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 with her little teeth. And then, so Saturday morning, I had to run to town to get some Tylenol and gave that to her. And then she was perfectly fine. And now she's not feeling good again. She's, um, she's, what do they call that? Um, when your teeth are coming in. <laughs> I can't think of the word. And it's not hatching new teeth. <laughs> what is it, you guys? So um, she's got three new teeth coming in. And so she's not feeling that great. Now her dad's not feeling that good. So everybody's kind of like, Bleh. we got a lot of little things going on um, around here. So um, what is it called when you're getting teeth in? Somebody needs to tell me because that's going to really bug me. We're not hatching teeth. <laughs> Anyways, this morning I decided to go a little early from the um, No Shave November teething. Yes, Elaine, thank you very much. She's teething three teeth. So No Shave November is kind of over for me. Um, I did shave my legs from the knee up. I thought I'd just start slowly getting back into the routine. Do you guys do No Shave November or No Shave All Winter? <laughs> <laughs> it does help you stay kind of warm, don't you think? So anyways, <laughs> I have a road trip planned. I am leaving December 6th. Um, actually, I'm leaving the 5th. But I'm headed down to Iowa to pick up my bestie, Dina. And we are headed to Wyoming to go see Barb. And it is a working trip because we work the whole time we're there. There's lots of shenanigans. But yeah, cutting teeth. There you go. Not hatching teeth. So anyways, I decided that I better shave my legs. I'm, I'm going to stop the No Shave November early. I'm going to shave the top half of my legs. Maybe tomorrow I'll shave the bottom half. Because what if I get in a car accident? We're driving to Wyoming in December. Like, who does that? <laughs> Crazy girls do that. And um, what if I get in an accident? I don't want anybody to see these hairy beasts. <laughs> I don't want to be coming in on a stretcher and they're going, whoa, look at the hairy legs. <laughs> 
anyways, yeah, no shave all winter. I hear you. Like, who cares? Right? <laughs> John update. I asked Steve this morning for a John update. He goes, Kelly, I got nothing. I haven't seen him. Um, and then he says, I think maybe the wife has him chained up in the house. And then Steve went on to say a few other things that are not appropriate for this family program. But we laughed and laughed. So use your imagination. Haven't seen John. Don't know what's happening to him. <laughs> Okay, the other thing I want to tell you about. Oh, I know. I wanted to ask you guys, what is your favorite about Thanksgiving? What is your favorite food for Thanksgiving? I want to hear what you guys. Oh, yeah. I'll wear my best underwear. You bet I will. I might even go buy some new underwear for my trip in case I get in an accident. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all kind of, you remember that. Well, don't forget to wear clean underwear. <laughs> right? <laughs> I know. I know. I remember the clean underwear comments. <laughs> um, I want to hear what is your favorite Thanksgiving food? Yeah, lots of you are coming up with the clean underwear. Dressing. Jean loves the dressing. My mom makes homemade dressing, the stuffing, and she actually bakes, um, makes and bakes some cornbread and uses that with the Pepperidge Farm breadcrumbs. And a whole bottle of sage, a whole bottle of sage and onions. And then the she cooks the turkey neck with in with water to make broth and uses that in the dressing and fresh onions. And well, not fresh, probably they're just from the store. <laughs> but she cuts them up. <laughs> Leftover turkey sandwiches. Those are super good, too. What did Linda just say? Linda said, make sure you have. Hang on, make sure you have, oh, doggone it, Linda, I lost your comment. It's here someplace. Let me see if I can find it on here. Make sure you have new panties. That's right, Linda. Don't you worry, I will have new panties. I love to go buy underwear. <laughs> sweet potatoes, I actually tried the sweet potatoes this year. I'm not a fan, but um, they looked really good. And so I tried them and I thought they were okay. So yeah. Turkey soup. I love turkey soup too. Some more sweet potatoes. Yeah, I uh, I love. And so we love Thanksgiving dinner so much that for Christmas, we have the same thing. Sometimes my mom will throw in a ham, but most of the time it's the same meal that we just had for Thanksgiving. <laughs> the turkey gravy and dressing. Yep. And the cranberry sauce. You got to have that little bit of tartness with all of that yummy salty, right? Best gravy, cornbread stuffing. Yep, my mom makes homemade gravy too. I don't know. Um, those packets that come in your turkey that you're supposed to make gravy out of, ugh, they give me the heebie-jeebies. It's so easy to make homemade um, gravy. Why would you, I don't know, and I don't want to insult anybody, but why would you use that crap? <laughs> I'm just going to put it right out there. <laughs> yeah, I don't care for it. <laughs> Anyways, um, right now, until Tuesday, not until Tuesday, but through Tuesday, November 30th, we have our join for $75. You can join. You can build a business. I can help you do that. You can join and just get a discount on all your stamping purchases. But you get $50 free. So you get to choose $125 worth of product for only $75. This is an amazing deal, you guys. You get $50 free. Great time to stock up on your supplies if you can just stock up on your cardstock and maybe some designer paper that you love. Or you can get your stamp sets that you love. Anything that's on your wish list. I would love for you to be a part of my team. We have so much fun. And until you try it, you're never going to know. It, I see Faith is on here, and she is on my team, and I know that she loves being on my team. It's so much fun to be part of something bigger. So, Tuesday is the last day for the Join for $75. Choose $125 in product. Um, also, I have a ton of new team members that have come on board during this promotion, and I'm so happy to have all of them. I know they're going to have a blast. Also, my fall special ends on Tuesday, November 30th. With your $50 order, you get a free PDF file with some fantastic stamping ideas in it. 
With your $75 order, you get a free embellishment from me. And with your $125 order, I am going to send you a grab bag with a value of at least $20. So lots of fun happening there. Also, discount shoppers. One of the great benefits of being a discount shopper with Stampin' Up! is that we get to order a month in advance of any new catalogs coming out. You guys know that we have new catalogs coming out in January. Also, we have another celebration that starts. But we get to pre-order December 1st from our new catalog. And oh, so many pretty things in there. So if you decide to join, you will be able to also pre-order on December 1st. And it's just so much fun to be able to get that product in early. Um, and you also don't have to worry about back orders because... Nothing's going to run out, well, usually, on the first day, right? So it's a win-win for everybody. Don't forget to click on that like button. You can click on that thumbs up button right now. That really helps me out in all the analytics. Cindy says she's been a discount shopper since 2011. The majority of people on my team are discount shoppers, so just know that. Um, <laughs> I see Cindy DeWitt. Cindy DeWitt. You must have touched something that said you want to be in my video. Do you really want me to invite you into my video? No, I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> I'm thinking no. <laughs> um, please click on that share button. That also is really helpful. It helps me grow my business. There is a share button on your screen someplace right now, and you can click on that and share my video to your personal profile. And you never know who you are friends with on Facebook that might be interested in watching. If you're watching later on YouTube, please hit that share button on there. Ring that bell. You'll get notifications. And also subscribe because you definitely want to be, um, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Notified. <laughs> Words are hard sometimes. You definitely want to be notified when I come on. And do you pay shipping as a discount shopper? Yes, you do, Luann. Everybody, every, I pay shipping too. But you get a 20% discount on all your purchases, as well as access to the Stampin' Up! website. I have a team blog. I have a Facebook group just for my team. Um, early, one month prior um, ordering. I get to start earning celebration December 1st instead of waiting till January. So for every $50 I spend, I get to earn a celebration item in, in December. And no matter what kind of promotion Stampin' Up! has going on for customers, we also get that. So the sale that we had, like was it last week we had a sale? You get the sale price and then you get your 20 or 25% discount also. So Stampin' Up! doesn't um, penalize us for then becoming discount shoppers. We just get more. So it's pretty cool. Thank you, Irene, for the share. I really appreciate it. I just saw that pop up on my screen and Vicki too. Thank you very much. Okay. Bingo, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time. I am super excited to be sharing some beautiful cards with you. Bingo, um, it's cards and bingo. We're going to be making five cards and we are going to be... Um, playing four games of bingo. And Judy says being a discount shopper is great. It is a lot of fun, right, Judy? <laughs> um, so make sure you tune in for that. That I will share the link right here on my Facebook page. But um, I'm live on YouTube for bingo. So what did somebody just say? Um, the sale plus discount was sweet. Exactly, right? You get even more. You save even more money. Okay, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Central Time, live on YouTube. I'll share my link here so you can do cards and bingo. It is open to everybody. It is a public class, but only the people that have registered are able to play and win. So that's fun. Um, also, I have a brand new kit class. The kit that I chose to use for um, this month is, or I'm sorry, for December is Nature's Harvest. Is that right? Is that my December? Yeah. Um, I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm trying to think. Is it November or December? Because I'm running a little behind this month. But I think I'm planning on having the PDF files out the week of the 6th. So I think it is November. Anyways, 
Um, the kit is $49. And you know, Nature's Harvest comes with the beautiful Nature's Harvest paper. And it's kind of like some fall tones. This paper right here, so beautiful. I'm not using it. I wanted to do something totally different. I am going to be using the Brights Designer Series paper. We're gonna make some very bright and beautiful cards with the Nature's Harvest. So it's gonna be something totally different from what you're seeing online as far as the same, you know, kind of the same color families in the Nature's Harvest. It's gonna to be totally different. Um, I'm gonna be using the Cork Specialty paper, the Artistry Blooms sequins, linen thread. You get all of these things, plus envelopes. Um, four different designs, two of each for a total of eight cards, pre-cut cardstock pack. And Debbie says um, she was a demo many years back. Yeah, I know lots of people are rejoining right now, and that's perfectly fine to do that. Come on aboard. Have fun with it while you can. Um, who just said, oh, hi, Brian Black. Brian is one of my friends that I go bear hunting with. Okay, yeah, Barbara says, thank you so much for using the bright colors. You struggle with that. Uh, I'm going to be making some really pretty cards, so I'm pretty excited about this. I'm gonna start designing in the morning probably. So the kit is $49. If you do not have the Nature's Harvest Bundle, you can add that on for $63. That includes tax and shipping. So just know that. All of this information is on my blog. And if you're wondering where to find that, you go to my blog, www.astampabug.com. Scroll down until you get past the projects. They're in my latest post. And you'll see something that says online classes. You'll see the picture that says Nature's Harvest Kit Class. Click on that. It'll take you to all the information. So you can always find that very easily on my blog. Okay. Um. Oh, I have had a troll on the last few weeks of my Facebook Live, so I just wanted to explain to you guys what is happening. Um, Jeremiah Johnson Ministries is his name, and he is leaving comments under your comments to me and saying something like, please inbox message me or something like that. So when you see that, please just ignore it. Um, hopefully he is now blocked. I blocked him also with the other hunting lady nasty comment. <laughs> Two blocks in one day. Anyways, um, just ignore him. He's a troll. I don't know what his deal is, but he should not be posting um, messages for you guys to contact him. That's weird and it's creepy and don't do it, okay? Because this is how people get sucked into scams and I don't want anybody to get sucked into a scam. So um, something, Jeremiah Johnson, I think. Jeremiah Johnson, yeah, he messaged you. Yep, lots of, lots of you guys I see. Susan says that. Um, Jeremiah Johnson Ministries, he says, please inbox me. I had another troll on here that was saying, oh, you're very attractive. Please message me. No, no, and no. And oh, Sherry says she reported him. Becky got something from him. I have reported him. I have blocked him. I have messaged him and told him to knock it off. Um, so hopefully, you know, but all we can do is ignore and they go away because then that's not so much fun. Um, will new class be on Stamp Happy Academy? Yes, it will. Thank you for asking that, um, Debbie. This Nature's Harvest Kit class, the PDF for this class is going to be on Stamp Happy Academy website. And if you're not familiar with that, it is a subscription website for $19.95 a month. We load four online classes on there for $20 a month. That's $80 worth of classes you get for $20 a month. Um, so if you would like more information about that, you just go to www.stamphappyacademy.ning.com. You could read all about it. We have a basic membership for $19.95. We have a premium membership for $34.95. Three live classes a month for the premium, and you get four online class PDFs. And then with the basic, you get 
four online class PDFs worth 80 bucks every single month. And we now have classes on there for January through November. All of those available to you for 20 bucks a month. So if you have any questions about that, um, go to the website, check it out. All the information is there. There's even a video to show you how to navigate the website. It's, you know, it's not that hard. Um, but if you have any questions that you don't find an answer to, feel free to contact me. I'm always happy to help you. Okay. I think, I think I got through everything. Uh, yeah, Judy said he's all over the place, that um, troll, and she reported him too. Good. I'm glad because when I started seeing those, I'm like, whoa, 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 what's going on here? What is going on? Because I don't want you guys to get scared off. Just ignore things like that. Nothing can come of it if you do not participate, right? And don't let yourself be scammed because sometimes some of these scams are easy to get sucked into. Don't be a victim of a scam. No. Okay. Uh, Kelly, did you get the new catalog? Yes, Evelyn, I have gotten the new catalog. I attended on stage. And that's an event that Stampin' Up! holds. And we get the catalog early with that. So, yes, I, I did get the catalog. And it's amazing. So, let's see. What are we going to make first? I'm not dressed like a clown tonight. I have regular black pants on. With my crazy little warm boots. Oh, aren't they cute? I wear them all the time. They keep my feet warm. Um, I think what we're going to do is this one. Oh, we need to do prizes. Hello. See, that's why I set them right over here where I cannot lose track of them. So, whew, I'm getting a little hot. Holy cow. Hang on. Whew. Okay. We have, for commenting on my last Facebook Live. Make sure you're leaving a comment if you're new to me. Just say hello or whatever so that you can get entered into a drawing to win fabulous prizes. I have the square vellum doilies for commenting on my last live. Uh, Sandra, um, if you're a discount shopper, your catalogs will be in route right now. They come bulk mail, so it takes a little bit longer. If you are a, if you're not a discount shopper, catalogs will be coming at the end of December. Okay, um, good question. So vellum doilies and also a half a pack of this beautiful mint macaron velvet ribbon. This is going out to Mary Beth Erickson of Lake Geneva, Wisconsin. Yay! Woohoo! Now, Mary Beth Erickson, I need your address. I do not have it. So please make sure that you email me, kelly, K-E-L-L-Y, at stampabove.com and give me your address. Okay, I'm just reading some of the messages here about the troll. So congratulations to Mary Beth Erickson. Next up, we have for sharing my video, last time I have a hack, half a pack of the gold glitter dots and gosh I don't even know where this comes from but this is a little valentine kit so just in time for February valentines right it's got envelopes and cards in it and it was in my door prize box I think it's from last year do you guys recognize this yeah um I'm not quite sure why I have it left over but I do this is for sharing last time. And Linda Lewis of Grass Lake, Michigan. This is yours, but you also need to email me at kelly at estampabove.com and give me your address so that I can get this in the mail to you. Last but never least, in your words, this is just a fabulous, I know these are all backwards, but this is just a fabulous, fabulous sentiment stamp set. It's got 10 different greetings in it. For placing an order between my last Facebook Live and today, Sherry Adams of Logan, Utah, this is on its way to you. So congratulations. Yay! Lots of fun prizes. Don't forget to get me those addresses though, because I'll hold these for two, two weeks or so until I hear from you. Okay. Now, we can flip our camera around. 
I promised gift card holders. It gets a little tricky this time of year because a lot of people have already made their Christmas cards, right? So they don't really need Christmas card ideas. Although I still like to get ideas with stuff that, you know, with the products that I've already ordered, I'm still looking for more ideas. But the other part of that is that, I'm, I'm watching my comments here. The other part of that is I like to share ideas that are something that you're gonna need. And gift card holders, this is the time when I start making gift card holders now because I know I'm gonna need probably quite a few of them, right? Evelyn is asking, what does discount shopper mean? Discount shopper means that you're gonna join my team. And my team consists of people who get a discount. So they're discount shoppers. When they place orders through Stampin' Up, they place the order through their own discount shopper account and they get a discount and they get all the other goodies that they get for joining Stampin' Up on my team. I also have people join Stampin' Up to create a business, to do perhaps what I'm doing, to do something a little bit less than I'm doing, but you can do whatever you want with it, Evelyn. You can be a discount shopper and just be, we call them happy, happy shoppers because you get a discount on all your Stampin' Up! products or you can build a business with it. A lot of, a lot of people start out as a discount shopper and then start doing a class here and there with their friends and um, that's really fun. They turn it into a business or not. It's completely up to you. But a discount shopper means that you join my team and you get a discount on all your products. You get to pre-order from the mini catalogs a month in advance. You get to be part of my team. We have so much fun stuff going on. I can't even tell you about it all right now. Um, but you can find all the information on my blog. And in the right-hand column is a $99 kit graphic. And you just click on that and you'll find out all the details that you get when you become a discount shopper. So what you're doing is you're joining Stampin' Up! under me, and you can choose to do whatever you'd like with it. You could never place another order. You can place all your orders at um, a discount. You can create a business. Um, Debbie says to tell them about the 300. $300 a quarter is the minimum amount that you need to order to stay active. If you don't do that, hang on, I got a hair in my face. If you don't do that, nothing happens to you. Nobody comes back and wants all the stuff you got with your kid. Nothing like that happens. But um, you have until the end of March to reach that. And Debbie says the quarterly cost, it is easy to make. I know, right? <laughs> so that's what a discount shopper is. Linda said her cards were dropped in the mail the day after the holiday. Good for you, Linda. You're ahead of me. Okay, so gift cards. I've got a couple gift cards to share with you. I have a ton of mail, you guys. A ton of mail. Hang on, I'm getting really warm. Um, so I hope you'll stick around for that. Linda... Uh, Linda Gilbert, I believe I saw your name fly by on here. I have a card to share that Linda Gilbert sent to me, and it is hysterical. So, oh, Anne says, Kelly's team is the best team. She's always so informative and helpful. Thank you so much, Anne. And you're going to love the card that we are making tonight because it is a version of your swap card. So another really fun thing that we do, hang on, I'm just moving this around, there we go, is you have the option to swap as a team member. And the card that I'm gonna share with you tonight comes to us from Andy Aquisto. She is a fantastically talented stamper from Grafton, Wisconsin. She is a team member. She is a very happy discount shopper and she made the cutest gift card. Well, it's not a gift card holder, it was a card. I turned it into a gift card holder. But I'm gonna show you how to make her card because it has some very, very interesting elements. So, hang tight. I'll get all my stuff here together. Okay, 
I've got a basic white envelope. Anne says, wahoo. Yeah, Anne, I loved your card. I just loved it. Don't let me forget to show Anne's card when we're done making this one too. So um, basic white, not whisper white, basic white envelope. I've got a basic white half sheet of cardstock here. This is eight and a half by five and a half. And you guys know that when we're done making all of these cards, some point tonight before I go to bed, I will post pictures and all the dimensions and all the ingredients I use to make these cards on my blog. So whenever I can get that done tonight, it takes me usually about an hour or two to get all that done. I will post them on my blog where you can go and rewatch this video also. But it's an easy place to get all the dimensions and see still photos of these projects. So, whis whisper. Now I got whisper white on the brain. Basic white, thick cards stock. Then I've got basic white, not thick. This is four by five and a quarter. I've got a couple half inch by four and a half inch strips of basic white and then a quarter inch strip of real red. And Anne's going like, ah, I didn't use any of that. Ah, I had to change things a little bit, Anne. And just know that your card is absolutely fantastic and beautiful, and I really wanted to make it just the way that you did, except that I wanted to stick with just one stamp set. So this is where the modifications come in. Okay, I'm gonna be using the Peaceful Deer stamp set and the Deer Builder Punch, super fun. These are both back in stock. They were back ordered for quite a while because they're just so popular. So I've got Real Red Ink here and Evening Evergreen Ink here. And I think we are going to do our stamping first. So I'm gonna come in with this big um, pine tree. Now, the Peaceful Deer has 20 different stamps in here. We've got some really pretty sentiments and then all these deer, a bunny rabbit, um, and some evergreen and snowflakes. So this is a really great set. You can do a lot of stuff with this. I love the deer because what this tells me is not only is it great for Christmas, but this is great for masculine cards um, you could use the deer for get well cards. It doesn't have to just be about Christmas. And so that tells me that this is much more valuable. Judith says she loves the Peaceful Deer set. I do too, Judith. I think it's fantastic. So we're going to stamp evergreen, evening evergreen, one time there. And then I'm going to stamp it again right there. And I just love to do the um, full strength, they call this, and then second generation ink without re-inking my stamp because then you get kind of like what looks like a little forest happening. And it's just a great way to make your area look a little bit fuller. Now I'm going to come in and I'm going to stamp my evergreen trees and do the same thing with them. And now see how we have just a whole little forest going on with very little effort. Okay, next thing I'm going to do as long as we're stamping, I'm gonna set this aside for a second. I am going to take my inside sentiment and I chose it's the best time of the year. And I'm gonna stamp that right in here. Yay! And then I'm going to grab these trees and I'm just gonna put a little bit of decoration right down here, okay? so. We've got a little bit more work to do with that inside, but for right now, I'm gonna stop there. Then I've got the Oh What Fun Deer in the real red ink, and I'm going to stamp that on my envelope. And I just thought that would be a fun decoration for the envelope. Okay, let me get these out of the way now. Did I just stick my finger in it? No, not yet. <laughs> Don't worry, I won't disappoint you. It'll happen. Okay. Next thing I'm gonna do is I've got one of these half inch strips. And I know I've shown you guys this before, but we might have some new people watching tonight. When you cut your four by five and a quarter inch layers to layer on stuff, right? Or to put inside of a dark card base, 
um, you get all these little half inch pieces or strips left over. I like to put them in a bag because I use these for like banners or sentiments a lot. So just a, just a tip for you to hang on to some of them. You don't have to keep them all because gosh, I don't know if we have enough room for all of them. Now I've got Versamark ink here and I'm going to stamp my Merry Christmas on one of these strips. Make sure you close up your ink pad before you get out your embossing powder. Now, if you don't have embossing powder, you can use a colored ink or you could order that discount shopper kit and you get $50 free. You could order yourself a heat tool and some embossing powder and a Versamark ink pad and then you would be set up to make all these pretty embossed layers. Did you see how I did that there? <laughs> yeah. And just so you guys know, too, um, this year I was actually number four in team building for the company. Out of about 42,000 demonstrators, I am ranked number four in team building. And that tells you that people like to join my team, right? <laughs> That's the way I look at it. People like to join my team. It's just so much fun. Okay, so we are going to heat set this. And I like to just hold my heat tool in one place until it starts to turn. And you can see it, you can see it turning shiny. And then I move it along. I want to make sure the whole thing is shiny. That looks really good. Whoops, hang on, I just turned it on. Don't leave your heat guns plugged in any place because if a cat or something knocks this off of a cat, uh, off your table, it can turn on and it can burn your house down. I know people who have, it started fires, so just know that. Okay, so now I am going to take this and I'm going to trim it. Just like that, okay? And next, oops, I got this little piece. This is a quarter inch piece of red. And what I'm gonna do with that is I'm just gonna glue it to the back of this layer. And this is just kind of a neat way to add a little bit more pizzazz to what would otherwise be a pretty plain little layer, right? A pretty plain little sentiment. And I'm going to take this and I'm going to snip it at an angle. Just like that. And isn't that just a neat way to add some pizzazz to your sentiment? Okay, here comes dimensionals. Got this one, and we got the big ones and the little ones. I'm going to do, use some little. These are our mini dimensionals. These are a lot of fun too. You could add these to your discount shopper kit and get them for free. Are you guys tired of me saying that? If you have not tried being part of a team, a discount shopper, give it a whirl. $75. You will love it. Not even kidding. And you have nothing to lose. Okay. Now, I've got that ready to roll. I've got this all stamped. Oh, we need a deer. Let me grab my scraps. I always have all these scraps from cutting up for kits that I like to keep. If they're of any size, I can use them, right? We need a memento ink pad for our outline deer. So we're gonna do that. for a little deer there. Isn't that not just the cutest little deer? This away. Then I'm going to bring in, let me move that so I don't get it stuck on something. I'm going to bring in crumb cake, light and dark, and then also our ivory. The ivory Stampin' Blend marker is going to be for the inside of the little ears. This is a doe because she does not have any horns. in case anybody was wondering. <laughs> I happen to know because I saw a lot of does last week, a lot. One day we saw like 20 some deer, you guys. And that's like pretty unusual for 
my mom's house. Like that's a lot of deer. And they're all well. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> yeah. They're still running around. This is the light crumb cake. I'm just gonna color this. I like to kind of outline this and then I'll get my big brush end out so I can I'm blending right now that jawline where I made it a little bit darker with the dark and now I'm going to use the other end to blend 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 Okay, that looks really good. Then we've got a punch. This punch is super easy to use. I really do like it. And again, the thing I like about it is you can, I can see making um, good luck cards for my hunter friends with these deer. You get the horns. There's two horns that you can glue on your deer's heads. I would use probably, you know, a different color. <laughs> Not, well, you know. Yeah, white, well, white's okay too. But there's our cute deer. Now we're gonna throw some mini dimensionals on the back of this little baby. And, oops. I know that the bingo cards for bingo on Wednesday have um, another gift card holder in them. If you watched my Facebook Live a couple weeks ago, I did one with a whole panel, like a three panel, a tri panel gift card holder. We're going to be making another one of those with totally different stamp sets. So that's kind of fun. I like to do stuff like that. Okay, here's where the fun part comes in. Um, what did I do with my, here's my scoreboard. Okay, so we're going to take this layer that we stamped the trees on. What's happening here? Okay. And I am going to start in a half an inch from this side. So a half an inch from this side and go up to an inch and a half with some score lines. So I'm going to turn it around like this because it's easier for me to use my scoreboard over here than it is way over here. Okay, so I've already measured this. This is a half an inch in. We're gonna start scoring and you're gonna score every quarter of an inch. So we've got one, we're gonna skip a channel. We're gonna skip another channel. We're gonna skip another channel. And I've got my markers here telling me where to stop. And one more right here. Okay, so what we've got is all these lines here. Now, we're gonna turn this over, and you can see that the lines are raised on this side and indented on this side. So now we're gonna turn this over, and we're gonna go in between all of these lines between this marker and this marker. And again, it's a half an inch in up to one and a half, one and a half inches. So I'm going to go in between each one of these. And now what you've got is this very interesting like shade. It reminds me of shades or pleated. I hope you can see that in the light, but it's just really, really cool. And yeah, Faith says, pardon me, but deer have antlers. I know, I know they have antlers. I just call them horns. <laughs> I know they're antlers. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, Melinda says she didn't know the scoreboard has those markers. Oh, yes, yes, you get a whole bunch of these markers with your scoreboard. So, yeah, um, 
Anyways, here is all our little pleated design right down here. So isn't that just a super interesting look? Um, the card that Anne made, and this is again, Andy Aquisto made a card that I'm kind of duplicating for you. But that's what she did on it, and I was just so intrigued by that. I think it's super cool, and it's easy, right? It's easy, and it's very different. All right, so we're going to finish up our card now. We're going to take our deer, and we are going to put our deer right over our trees here. We're going to grab our little sentiment, and we're going to put that right up here. Oops, I just want to make sure I have it on here straight. And, oops, that's not straight. I just made it crooked. Hang on. See if I can get something straight. There we go. Okay. Then I'm going to grab, uh-oh, where's our ribbon? Oh, here it is. This is our real red sheer ribbon. And I've got my little bow jig here. Now, if you guys um, don't have something to tie bows with, I highly recommend this. I do have a few left. I've got one, two, three, four, five left. They're $10 each if you would like one. Again, just email me, kelly at estampabub.com. And I will send you an invoice for $10. But these are so nice. They're super easy to use. You get a perfect little bow every single time. Here we go. And if you have trouble tying bows, or even if you don't have trouble, this just makes life so easy. Look at that cute little bow. Isn't that just adorable? Okay, let me trim this side up because I kind of made a mess out of it when I pulled on it. There we go. Cute little, cute little bow. Perfect. Okay, we're going to take a glue dot. And add our bow. We're going to put our bow on right up here. There we go. I think I'm going to trim this up just a little bit more. There we go. Okay, Helen says she loves her bow jig. I know, right? I do too. It just makes life easy. And then, hang on while I locate. Oh, I wonder. Oh, here they are. My rhinestones. My rhinestones are still stuck in my bin. We're going to use some of these red rhinestones. You get 250 of these on a pack. And they are just so fun. And especially since you get so many of them, you just don't feel like you need to be chintzy about them. I'm just going to put three right here. Whoops. Hang on, I got a piece of fuzz on there. You guys ever have fuzz stick to your embellishment and then it's, you can see it on your card? There we go. One, two, three. What do you guys think? Isn't that pretty? Now, I had Wink Estella here to make some snow under my deer, and I forgot. So I'm just going to come in here and kind of paint some glitter around. And I know you guys probably can't see this, but I can. And the person that I give this card to, this gift card holder, will be able to see hope you can see that now just a little bit of snow down there just a little something extra okay here comes our card base and we still have to do something to the inside to make it really cool I'm all about the really cool right <laughs> I'll just put one more right there your dimensional And we're going to put this on the front of our card. Look how pretty that is. Ugh. I'll show you Ian's card too. Don't let me forget to do that. She used some different stamps. They're super pretty too. Oh, that's a little crooked. 
and usually pull this up if you don't let it sit for any length of time. It'll come off quite easily, but then once you leave it sit, you're not going to get it apart without destroying it. Okay, so that's just kind of raised up on there. I think that's a really elegant look. I love that Anne did that. Now, on the inside, here's what we're going to do. You remember this other, we had two pieces. We had one piece of the half inch strip for the Mary. And now we have another piece. This is four and a half um, um, four and a half inches long by half inch. And let me mute my computer. There we go. Okay. Um, now we're going to score this little piece. And what we're going to do is we're going to score it at a half an inch. One inch, two and a half inches, and three inches. Okay, so half, one inch, two and a half, three. So this is what we have. And we're going to fold. And what we're doing is we're making a rectangle. I'm just going to fold on all these lines good. And we're making a rectangle just like this. Okay. Now I'm going to use a mini glue dot on this little bottom tab. You could lose, use your liquid glue. But I just know that this is going to stick and I don't have to wait for any drying time. So we're going to just... Hold this flat, just like that. And now we have our rectangle here, okay? Oops, this is kind of squishy. I want this to go both ways, just like that. Okay, then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put a glue dot on the back. like this. So we've got a glue dot and a glue dot. And then we're going to do a glue dot right down here on the bottom. For Pete's sakes. Cooperate with me. There we go. Okay. Now, the glue dot on the bottom is going to stick right here and the two glue dots on the back are going to stick right here. So, I am going to, let me see, how am I going to do this? <clears throat> I am going, I've got it folded like this. One glue dot here, two glue dots here. And you just figure out how to do this, but you just lay it down in here. It's super easy. And then we're going to close our card just like that. And then when you open it, you get a little pop-up in here. Now you can do anything with this little pop-up that you want. Wasn't that simple? Super, super simple. You can do anything with this. You could put another deer here. You could put a bunny rabbit here. You could put some type of a label here. But what we're going to do is we are going to take a couple more glue dots. I'm going to put one there and one here. And just by putting this little mechanism on the inside of a card, you have created a gift card holder. Because now I'm going to put my gift card in here. And see how this works? Ah! Oh, thank you guys so much for the hearts. Isn't that cool? And then when the person wants to use it, they're just going to pop this off of here and take that gift card. Maurice is one of my favorite stores. I love their clothes. But there we go. Here's our fabulous gift card holder. And any card, any card you can turn into a gift card holder. Or you can use this to put in like a little character or whatever you want, right? We could have, let me see if I can pop this off of here. Yep, here we go. We could have taken another deer and put it in here, right? Open it up. Oh, yeah. 
I would put something that would cover up this whole thing, <laughs> not necessarily a deer. This is a little small for that area, but here is our gift card holder. It's going to hang right in there. Yay! Okay, so I have to show you Anne's card. Are you guys ready for this? Here is Anne's card. Oh, it's so pretty. She used a Merry Christmas sentiment, and I believe this is from the Poinsettia Petals. So the Merry Christmas here, uh, maybe not though. Um, it might be from Peaceful Cabin. Maybe it's from Peaceful Cabin. Anyways, this is a bigger Merry Christmas than the one that I used. And then she used the trees from the Peaceful Cabin and colored on them with the Wink of Stella and then a marker to make the little meadow lines here. But here is that beautiful um, scoring on there. Isn't this just gorgeous? I absolutely love this. So there we go. I used just the Peaceful Deer set and turned it into, oh, I gotta show you the inside. This I think is where maybe the poinsettia set comes in, but I love what she did here with her little sentiment. And then you have lots of room over here to write, right? So this was, again, a swap card from our team swap. We do a monthly swap with our team and you can choose to join it or not join it. Um, it usually has a theme and I think the theme for November was Christmas or winter. And so I have had so much fun going through all of these swap cards. Like they are crazy amazing. I have a whole bag full of them here. And my next card is also a swap. And I know that Vicki, or I'm sorry, Debbie Vischer is watching tonight. And Debbie, your card is up next. <laughs> lots of lots of fun going on here with casing cards. Okay, let me set this off to the side. I gotta keep my dimensions here. Again, all these dimensions will be on my blog a little bit later tonight. Let me put all my goodies away and get on with our next card. down. What are you guys drinking tonight? Inquiring minds need to know. I've got my plain old <laughs> strawberry lemonade. Oh, Mary says you did a great job casing a great card. That's what the stamping community is all about. Thank you so much, Mary. I love doing that. I love sharing all these gorgeous creations with you guys. Okay, our next card. We're going to use Whimsy and Wonder. And again, this is a card from a team swap. Debbie Fisher is the artist. And I am totally using her layout with a different set of designer paper and a stamp set. Different stamp set. And I decided to switch to this um, set of products because Debbie used the peaceful, oh, what's it called? The paper is called peaceful something or another. Um, and it's not available because it's been so popular that it is almost completely sold out. We are getting more in, but it's going to be a while. So I decided to change it up and I'll be able to show you Debbie's card and two more cards because I made one out of some different designer series paper patterns. Okay, so here we go. Again, this is a gift card holder. The Whimsical Trees is a fantastic bundle. I do have one kit left. This was my kit class um, for last month, I believe. I have one more kit for Whimsical Trees. So if anybody would like to get their hands on that, you need to go to my blog, click on online classes, and find the Whimsical Tree class and buy it because it's amazing. All right, our 
card base is just, again, a half sheet of cardstock. This is five and a half by eight and a half. Ooh, I see drinks are coming in here. Diet Pepsi, a Coke. What else? Pepsi. I used to love me some Pepsi. I love Pepsi. I have not drank Pepsi since I lost weight for Haley's wedding. <laughs> like, it's dangerous for me. Okay, next up, we have, I'm going to use this gift, the presents, designer series paper. And this is two and three quarters by five and a quarter. Same on this paper, two and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then we have two one inch by five and a quarter inch strips of the designer paper. A panel of basic white that's two and three quarters by five and a quarter. A half inch strip for our sentiment. A scrap of mint macaron. A scrap of our brushed silver, um, silver specialty foil. And... Oh, and this is, um, hmm. this is going to be three quarters by three and a quarter of the silver foil. Oh, and then our envelope. You guys know I like to, um, <laughs> I like to decorate my envelopes. And Judy says her instructions were so great for that kit. Yeah, this is an awesome kit. And thank you, Judy. I'm glad you liked it. Oh, Deb is drinking Chardonnay with a little cranberry wine. You go, girl. That's not being bad. It sounds good to me if I liked wine, which I don't, but I know you do. <laughs> okay, this is two and a half by six, and I just put a little bit of glue on my envelope flap, and I am going to... Glue that down so that I have a beautiful matching envelope when we're done here. Hard to cover up this striped side, isn't it? I just love this pack of paper. It's got such pretty colors in it. Very unconventional for Christmas, which I like. I'm, I also really like traditional Christmas colors, but I like unconventional ones too. I just think it's fun. It's the variety, right? Variety is the spice of life. Okay. So there's our envelope. I'm gonna set everything over here. I am going to take my cardstock. Let me grab my paper trimmer. We are going to score this card base at four and a quarter and seven and a quarter. Just like that. And we'll get these burnish your fold lines really good. So we've folded our card in half. Here's that other score line. We're going to fold that to the inside. So this is what we've got. Okay. Uh, we have a little bit of stamping to do. Hang on. I've lost track of... I was going to say that better not be on the floor. <laughs> because that would be really bad. Okay, um, stamp set. We're using polished pink and memento ink. So I'm going to stamp the sentiment from the whimsical trees that says, may the love of the season warm your home and fill your heart. By the way, you guys, this is a piercing mat. We sell these, I sell these in my Stampin' Up! store. And I just cover it with printer weight paper so that I can stamp on it. Oh, did I get it straight? No, it's crooked. <laughs> I'm gonna stand up. It's still crooked. I did this earlier too. This should not be that hard. Not that hard, Kelly. Hang on, I'm grabbing another piece of paper here. I think that I mounted my stamp crooked. I think that's what's going on. So this was two and three quarters 
by five and a quarter. All right. Is that crooked? A little bit. So I need to pull this side up a little bit. Yeah, I had a lot of trouble. And it's not the stamp, it's me. Okay, there we go. Whew! Yay! Yay me for the win! Okay. <laughs> then I'm going to take the little um, holly. Oh, everybody, don't worry about the credit card number, okay? All of these credit cards that I use are completely empty and they're very, very old. This one expired in 2015. So no need to worry about my cards. They're all old and expired. And um, I have one from Maui that I actually looked up today because I'm like, whoa, I don't remember a, credit, a gift card from Maui. But yeah, sure enough, I used it all. <laughs> at the Waialea Resort, so we're good. <laughs> okay, so I stamped that little guy. Now, I grabbed my Blushing Bride Stampin' Right marker, and I'm just going to color these little berries with that, and then I'm going to bring in the Dark Mint Macaron Stampin' Blend marker. Now you can use your Stampin' Right markers with Memento ink, but you want to be careful not to color all over the black ink because it will bleed if you do that. But if you kind of stay away from it, you're okay. Memento ink is for Stampin' Blend alcohol markers. Stays on ink is for water-based markers. I hope that makes sense. <laughs> Marcy, you're so funny. <laughs> Kelly is not an idiot. <laughs> I appreciate all the concern. Let me tell you that. <laughs> but I wouldn't put it past me to do something that is like, oh, you really shouldn't have done that. You know how I am, you guys. <laughs> okay. So what I'm going to do here is use the presents. So I'm gonna take the presents and I'm going to put them right on the front of this card. And I love the different sides of this designer series paper and how different each of these looks when you use different sides, different patterns, right? Look at how pretty those presents are. Aren't they just beautiful? I love them. Oh, I love them. Okay, and then I'm gonna take this strip, and this is one inch wide. These are all five and a quarter long. And that's gonna go right over here. Just like that. Now, isn't that just stunning? So pretty. Then we're gonna put this side right over here. Oh, I hear Steve coming upstairs. He's going to bed. What time is it? It is oh, 8.18. Hey, did you see the Packers won? I think they won. I'm pretty sure they won. I came up here before things were done. And then I think I'm going to use this blue right here. And you can use whichever side you want when you make your card, right? And then this layer is going to go right here. A little bit bigger margin on the right and left of this layer. And I like the way that Debbie's card looked with that bigger margin, so I kept it there. Then we're going to use tear and tape to make our little pocket over here. And I like using tear and tape because I know nothing is going to come apart. Yes, the Packers won. Yay! I watched the game. I actually, I worked most of the day today, but then I took a break at about 5 o'clock until 6.45. And I was, I almost dozed off 
and Steve put the recliner down, which makes a great big, huge creak and a clunky noise. <laughs> and that was the end of my almost fell asleep. Look at how pretty that is, you guys. Okay, so we have some decorating to do here. Now, what I wanted to do, um, let's grab the dies. Here come the dies. You get 13 different dies with this. And what I found is that there's a whole bunch of dies in here that actually cut out the trees. So I took and I die cut this little scribbly tree right here. And there's a die to cut this one out and a die to cut that one out. And I think there's another one that'll cut that out. So I ran this through my die cutting machine and I got this tree and isn't that pretty with that iridescent foil dots on it i just love this then we had some scraps here we have a silver foil scrap and a mint macaron scrap so then i decided to take i love these little these little stubby trees <laughs> this one i think is so cute and this one let me put all of these back in here so I don't lose anything. This little tree and this little tree. So I am going to put this tree on here on the silver. I'm going to put this tree on here and I'm going to run those through my machine. And look at these. Look at all the detail. Aren't they so cute? I just love them. Okay. So I am going to put some dimensionals on the back of my Christmas tree. My big tree, I should say. Boom. Okay. And then I'm going to put some mini dimensionals on the back of these little stubby trees. <laughs> little stubby trees. Oh, you guys. Hey, I forgot. I don't know if I told you this yet. Oh, this is too big. Um, I started watching a new show and I can't remember which network it's on, but it's called Ordinary Joe. Have you guys seen this show? Connie my friend from Marquette is the one who told me about it. It is awesome. It's an awesome show. So if you're looking for a new series, it's like got several episodes. If you're looking for a new series, it's called Ordinary Joe. Super, super good. I am going to put my tree right here. And then I'm going to bring in my little stubby trees. And I'm going to kind of layer them. right in here and I just thought the tree with the Christmas presents in the background was going to be pretty cool and I'll bring this one in right here oh I love it what do you guys think of the trees on here and I'm going to cut this little one off just like that okay we have one more thing to do here this is our little half inch strip and I am going to, let's see, let's, oh, we're going to use the polished pink. And we'll do the Let Your Heart Be Light. Oh, I got that pretty straight. <laughs> oh, you know what? I need to move it over. Here, let's do this first. I'm also going to show you how I do this. If, I, if I'm not making a whole bunch of something, if I'm making a whole bunch, I'll measure things. But this is the pick, the banner pick a punch. And you have two different banners and then three different sizes. So six different sizes with this punch, which is pretty phenomenal. So I punched out the one end. And like I said, if I'm going to be making a whole bunch of something, I'll measure and cut all my pieces. But if I'm only going to make one, I'll punch it out. And now you've got this little piece right here. 
and you can decide how long you need this other end to be. And I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna lay that right down on top of there. And then I'm just gonna grab my scissors and I'm gonna cut it. And that's how I determine using that little piece that I punched off the other end. Yay. Okay, so there's my little banner. And then the silver piece is three quarters of an inch wide. So this was half inch. And then this is three quarters of an inch. So I can just slide that right in there. Slide the other end in. Oh, this is three quarters by three and a quarter. I did measure this so I would know. <laughs> I've got all kinds of weird things happening here. <laughs> like why is this happening to me? I think I have a, oh, here's a dimensional. That's why my punch was sticking, for Pete's sakes. Okay, and this is gonna fit right on here. And I just thought that silver would be really attractive for this particular card. And there's my layering little banner. Isn't that nice? I like it. And we'll put some dimensionals on there. Here we go. And I'm just gonna put that right up here. Close this up. Get the mess out of the way. This is also the pocket for my long retired <laughs> gift card. What do you guys think? Easy, right? It's a really easy card, but I love that it has this little pocket in here. All right, so I have to show you. Hang on, why get all the get all this junk out of the way and throw it on my floor? <laughs> That's kind of how I operate. <laughs> Here's another one that I made. I used a different tree with the pink, the polished pink, and a polished pink here. I used the ornament paper. And then, oh, here's my Maui gift card from when Stampin' Up! sent us to Maui earlier this year. And I used the same layout, just different prints of the paper. What do you guys think of this? Isn't it so pretty? And then I'll show you where I got the idea. This is from Debbie Vischer. Look at how pretty this is. This is with the Peaceful Cabin and all the, um, the gorgeous, gorgeous specialty foil paper. Have you guys seen this? Like, look how pretty that is. That's the color that she used for her trees. And the lighter color of purple or pink or whatever you wanna call it is under her banner. Debbie also put a little bit of ribbon over here. And then her gift card pocket is right here isn't that just beautiful so beautiful so this is where I got the idea for this one it is from Debbie and then I have my card idea if I can pick it up from Anne Right here. Um, oops, hang on. Oh, this deer is a little bit darker. I used a different color on this deer. I used soft suede, light and dark. And then I'm assuming this is also crumb cake. This is Anne's card. And this is the card that I made for you today, which is much lighter. You can see on the deer. So you can do your deer whatever color you would like. But oh my gosh, right? Some very cool gift card holders. I hope you guys will um, get these a try. Now, uh, Evelyn is asking to show the stamp set again. Is it still available to purchase in the catalog? Yes, it's called Whimsical Trees. And it is in our holiday July to December mini catalog. If you go to my Stampin' Up! store, Evelyn, 
you can just type in whimsical trees next to the little magnifying glass blank and it'll pop right up. It'll show you the paper. The paper is called Whimsy and Wonder. I highly recommend it. It matches perfectly with this. We also have some Blushing Bride frayed ribbon that goes with it. All absolutely gorgeous. And please let me know too, Evelyn, if you need a catalog, I would happy to I'd be happy to send you catalogs. So just let me know. Again, through email, Kelly at a stamp above.com. So this is the whimsical trees. These are the Christmas trees dies, and you can buy this in a bundle. You save 10% when you order it together. So yeah. Hi Eris. You'll be able to watch the replay. It'll be worth it too. We have some really neat cards that I shared tonight. All swap cards from my team members. So thank you to Anne and thank you to Debbie for sending these cards. And I hope you guys love them as much as I did. Who wants to see my mail? I have a really funny card. I'm going to show that one first. So hang tight. Let me move these out of the way. And again, you will find all of the details for these cards with still photos, ingredients lists, and measurements on my blog a little later tonight, as soon as I can get them typed up and edited and all that stuff. This is my current host code. You can find my host code on my blog anytime. And I'm going to show you right now where that is because I've had some people that have had some questions about that. So let me close this. This is my blog. Make sure I'm in the screen. Yep, I am. This is my blog. It's astampabove.com. You can find it through that. And if you scroll down, if you're on a computer, you're going to find that host code right here. It's always in that right-hand column. Now, if you're on a phone or a different device, you may not have a right-hand column, right? Down at the bottom of every blog post, you're going to see all of this information. And right here is online classes. And it tells you, you can click on these or you can click here for the whole list of online classes. You're going to find when you click there. Here's the catalog. You can go look through it. Here's the mini catalog. You can look through that. And then here is that host code. It's at the bottom of every blog post that I have. So you always have an easy time finding it if you just go scroll through. Here's that Nature's Harvest Kit class that I'm going to be using. Here's the stamp set. Here's the dies. Oh my gosh, they're so pretty. Here's the bright designer paper as well as the Artistry Bloom sequins. This is all included in the kit, linen thread, and envelopes. So this is how you find all the things on my blog. Now, if you're interested in becoming a discount shopper, you'll notice over here in the right-hand column is a $99 kit right here. You click that, it'll take you to the page that tells you all about all the details about joining, okay? There's a special promotion right now for $75, but it tells you all the things that you get. I even have a video showing you how to order your kit, and then you'll find out all the things that are included when you join my team. So right-hand column has all kinds of good stuff in there. Okay, let's go to the mail. Let's get the mail bag out. Like I said, I have a lot of mail to share with you. Oh, and I got some candy in the mail. Oh yeah, this is more mail. Hang on. Here comes some more mail. So, Sandra, I should say Sandra Marin, Heard me say I was out of candy corn, and she sent me these with chocolate peanuts. Way to go, Sandra. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, my gosh. Love, love, love. There's a card in here someplace that went with them, and I will find it. But first, I want to get to the funniest card. I 
laughed and laughed and laughed. And Linda Gilbert, I hope you are on here. And I thought you were on here a little earlier. This is hysterical. So I get this card and it's beautiful. Look how pretty that is, right? Thinking of you. And I thought, oh, how sweet. Are you guys ready for this? Hang on. Ready? Ha, ha, ha. A little wine to go with your cheese. Minnesota Vikings and a crying Green Bay Packer baby. <laughs> I laughed so hard, Linda. I cannot even tell you how hard I laughed. And here's Linda's letter to me. It says, congratulations on a great year with Stampin' Up. What a wonderful, successful, successful this year has been for you. I'm so proud to be part of your team. You always bring us new inspiration along with hours of fun and laughter as we craft along with you each week. And now for the bad news. I've been holding on to this card for you for two football seasons. The year I made it, your Packers beat our Vikings big time. However, the time has come to smile a little more knowing you'll get a big laugh when you open the card. Enjoy your success. You sure deserve it. And have a great Thanksgiving with your family and friends. Linda, busting and got laughing. I couldn't stop. I told Steve all about the card and I said I will show it to him as soon as I get to show it to all of you guys. So thank you very much for this hysterical little giggle. Yeah, they're all crying because they lost. I couldn't believe that our Packers didn't beat your Vikings, to be quite truthful. But congratulations to you and your Vikings. We will not let it happen again. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, here we go, guys. Look at how cute this is. This is from Becky Milton Berger. Absolutely adorable. How cute is that little snowman? And then we have, oh, so pretty, right? Look at how pretty this is. Oh, hang on. Hang on. The bow got a little... There we go. <laughs> that looks better. Isn't that gorgeous? Absolutely gorgeous. This is from Noreen Harrell. So, so pretty. Thank you so much, Noreen. Oh my gosh, absolutely love it. Here comes Linda Keister. Look at how cool this is. This is kind of tucks in under there. So we got a little tucky thing going here. And that beautiful gold ribbon. Oh, so pretty, right? I sent Linda and she's got in here. That's really neat. I like carrying that designer paper to the inside. I think that's just really adds a little extra something, don't you guys? Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, hang on. Something weird was happening. Let me move that out of the way. There we go. Okay, next up. This is from Julie Shulky. Happy Thanksgiving. Isn't that gorgeous? She's got that um, time-worn embossing folder on there, too. I love that thing. Oh, so pretty. And then, thank you very much, Julie. Terry Mullinex sent this, or Mullineau. I, don't, I never know how to say Terry's name, but I told her I like saying it Mullinex, and she said she didn't care. <laughs> yeah, Linda says now it's me that's laughing because our Vikings aren't doing so good this year. I know they're not, <laughs> Linda, but I got a big kick out of your card. Terry, beautiful, beautiful. I love, love, love this set, right? And she's wishing me and my family a happy Thanksgiving. What a gorgeous little card. These are our note cards and envelopes, by the way, and they do come through the mail just fine. So great use of those. Look at how pretty this is. This is from Valerie Albanese. Oh, that bedazzling paper was just rock star stuff, right? She combined it with our gold uh, ribbon. This is in the annual catalog. Very, very pretty. And she's thanking me for some holiday rhinestones and congratulating me on all my achievements. Thank you so much, Valerie. Then we've got Carl Wilmoth. And hang on, let me move this out of here. Isn't this beautiful? Cara got some blending brushes from my last Facebook Live. Thank you so much, Cara. And she 
she put a little note inside that um, is removable so I can use this and I definitely will use this card again. So thank you for that. Oh, and envelope. I haven't been showing you guys the envelopes. Um, I showed you Terry's, right? She's got some stamping going on there. Hang on. This one is for Noreen from Noreen using the um, Eden's Garden. Mm, so pretty. And, okay. Uh, here we go. Oh, I love this one too. This is from Rhea Jones. She's from Tucson, Arizona. Look at this. <gasps> Don't you love that? A little note with the biggest thanks. The prize you sent made my day. Yay, that makes me happy. I love to make people's days. Here comes a gorgeous one. This is from one of my team members, Sarah Simon. And this is, what do they call this? This is a sliding something or another. Right? Look at how cool that is. This slides up and down. Hang on. Slides up and down in the gatefold. Isn't that so pretty? Oh, love, love, love it. Okay, let me put this back together. Oh, hang on. And I think these cards, it just goes right in there. And then this slides up. I had it working good before. There we go. Up and down. So pretty. And let's see, Sarah. Oh, she's thanking me for all the prizes from the envelope challenge. I do challenges with my team and I just awarded a whole bunch of prizes for a quarterly challenge. So Sarah's sending me a thank you for the envelope challenge and um, congratulations on all of my accomplishments. So I really appreciate that. Oh, I have one here that didn't get open. Hang on, I think this is from Susan. I'm gonna find my envelope. Yep, it's from Susan Hines. She's my friend from Grafton. Yeah. Oh, look at this envelope. How cool is that, right? Very, very pretty. Ah, look at this card. I thought I had these all open, but I didn't have this one opened. Look at how cute that is. Very, very cute. It says, You are so dear. Dear to many. <laughs> um, so I donated a whole bunch of retired supplies to Susan and her organization. And she says, Betty and I continue to use the Stampin' Up! supplies you donated in 2020. 825 cards so far this year. Our quilters made 38 quilts with a dozen more in various stages of completion. And I've been cutting floral fabric and sewing 36 inch quilt tops, which will be quilted in early 2022. This is so fantastic. So yeah, I'm so glad that Susan contacted me and I was able to donate so much to her organization. They make quilts for veterans. And they're, and they're beautiful quilts. These are fantastic quilts. Oh, Linda says she wants to learn how to make this card. Um, you know, I thought that I did make one of these, but maybe I didn't. I'll have to check, Linda. We'll see. And yeah, I can probably do that. Okay, this next card is from Kay Master. Kay is also on my team. Look at how... <gasps> Flipping amazing this is with that beautiful designer paper. Yeah, so, so pretty. And she's thanking me for the prize also and talking about how fun our team meetings are. Kay, thank you so much. I really appreciate. And happy Thanksgiving. Oh, and look at, oh, isn't that pretty? So pretty. Okay, next up we have Sarah Thibodeau. Look at this. I love these colors. I think this is just beautiful. And this is a happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy the season of giving thanks with your family. Thank you, Sarah. Beautiful, beautiful card. Oh, and envelope. Yay. Here comes another one. Oh, I do have a couple more here that aren't opened. I wonder if I had mail that I put in my drawer before I left. I'll betcha I did. 
Here's another beautiful envelope. Look at this. Oh, so pretty. This is from Belinda Kelly. She said, I was so surprised to see I won something. That was the first meeting I have been able to catch live. The decorative masks will be fun to play with. So she won a prize from our team meeting. Yay! When you watch our team meeting live, it's on Zoom. Um, you get entered in door prize drawings. I give away 15 door prizes every month just for my team meeting. This is, hang on a second. This is from Karen Nevin. Look how pretty this is. Oh my gosh, I love this. I love that stamp set. Happy Thanksgiving. Thank you so much, Karen. Here comes another one. This is from Sandra Marin. This came with all the candy corn. And it says, sorry this is late, but I think you still enjoy your candy. You bet I will. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I love this set too. That's a fun one. Thank you, Sandra. Then we have, this is I think from Linda Dodge. Hang on a second. I don't... Here we go. Oh, look at how pretty this is. <gasps> Barbara Dodge. I have a Linda Dodge too. Sorry. Sorry, Barb. Um, this is from Barbara Dodge, not Linda Dodge. And it says, Kelly, thank you for the prizes of the ink stamp ribbons in boxes. She says, I rarely win anything. I am uh, rewarded each time I watch you make cards. You are so sweet. Thanks, Barb. That is a really pretty card. I love it. Here comes another one. This is from, you want to see? This is from mom. <laughs> this is from my mom. It says, so happy for you. What a great asset your achievements are for SU. You run your own business, which many haven't been able to accomplish. And you are so on top of your game. We are all so proud of you and all you have done and continue to do. Ah, mama. That's a pretty card. It's a gift that I gave her. I always give my mom cards. <laughs> Thank you, mother. Next up, we have Kimberly Milan, and she used some of this wood. Oh, look at this pretty card. So, so pretty. Season of thanks. Just a quick hello and a card of appreciation for all the creativity and smiles you encourage every day. Hope you enjoyed your special trip to Utah. Hope you were treated like a queen, and I was. Happy harvest and Thanksgiving to you and your family, Kim. Love this, Kim. This is really cool. I love the little crate. Okay, hang on, because I got a couple more cards here that I did not open yet. I think I did. I put all my mail in my drawer before I left to go hunting, so it wouldn't just be laying out, you know. And I think some of these are swap cards. Yep, this one is. And those I will share with you later. But this is from Elaine Rebeth. I know she's watching tonight. Uh, there we go. Ah, isn't that beautiful? I love this paper, Elaine. That's really pretty. And hang on. We've got a happy Thanksgiving. I'm thankful for your videos and terrific card ideas. You got me started on this hobby and it has definitely kept me sane during COVID lockdown. You darn right it has. Elaine is one of my very first customers. She's been in a stamp club that I hosted in a nearby town. So you are very welcome, Elaine. And now, oh, this is from Anne. So Anne, who uh, designed this card, she made this one also. <laughs> Make today amazing. Give thanks. And Anne says, Kelly, thanks for the blending brushes. I love getting happy mail. I'm especially blessed and thankful for what you do for me and all of us, not just for the projects, but more for the humor and fun and joy you give. Anne, you are too sweet. Thank you for being a part of my team. I love that. I love the way that paper is on here, right? So pretty. And then my team leader, this comes to me from my team leader, Ann Hebner. And look at how pretty that card is. 
It says, congrats also on all your other top placements. Congratulations, you were the number one in the top 20 demonstrators of Stampin' Annie Stampers team for sales during the Stampin' Up year. Woohoo! Thank you for all your hard work. Thank you, Anne, for a beautiful card. Okay, you guys. I think that's it. I don't know if my, let's see if my phone will allow me to flip it back. Because oftentimes, remember last time I quit doing it because it wouldn't let me do it. It just would cut off. But I think we're okay now. I can't see what you guys are typing because I have my other glasses on. Where are those other, here they are. Isn't it funny that I can't see with my real glasses? <laughs> so much thank you for joining me tonight i just so appreciate that you're here with me i really miss you guys and um, i hope you enjoyed these cards and you'll give the gift card holders a try you know what is another really good idea is to make gift card holders for your loved ones to use like make up a pack of six gift card holders and give them as gifts whether they be for birthdays or even Christmas cards. But um, I know people that would really appreciate them and they make a fabulous, fabulous gift. All right, you guys, I'm gonna let you go. I hope you have a fantastic week. I'm trying to see what's going on. Don't forget, Tuesday's the last day to sign up for $75 and get $50 free in product. Join my team. You heard from all these people. It's so much fun. Um. Also, our, uh, my um, sales, I have a sales incentive right now, and that ends on Tuesday. And December 1st, we will have a carryover list um, for the new catalog. I just posted that on my blog tonight, by the way. That should be on here. Um, carryover list from the holiday catalog, also retirement list, and... Make sure you look at the asterisks. Like a lot of the bundles listed, they're not really retiring. They're just not going to be bundled together for a savings anymore. Okay? So make sure you look at the asterisks to know what they mean so that you don't get confused. Um, I love that Stampin' Up! gives us all the details, but sometimes it just gets confusing. <laughs> So, carryover list, retirement list, something's up to 50% off. That sale starts on December 1st, which is Wednesday. Yay! I will... Mm, let's see, next Sunday night, I will either try to be live from Iowa at Dina's house, or I will do a Facebook Live pre-recorded, so a Facebook Live not live next week. I'll have to do something because I'll be away too long if I don't. <laughs> and I will miss you guys too much if I do that. Remember, I'm going to Wyoming on the 5th. I'm headed to Iowa to grab Dina and we're road tripping to Iowa or to Wyoming to see Barb with shaved legs and clean underwear. New probably too. Watch the beginning to catch what that's all about. All right, you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. Have yourselves a wonderful week. Bye-bye.